I know what you're thinking. Best card trick ever? I hardly know her. How was I supposed to know she was 800 pounds? It was dark. She was in the back of the bar. It was four o'clock in the morning. Yes, I know. I had to work my way through fold after fold to get a, a microsecond of coitus. But what? It's not my fault. It took me long and hard to figure out what is the greatest card trick of all time. But I came to the conclusion that it's a card trick that ends before it starts. So let's just get right into it. Whoa. Hey there, semen demons. Here's the card trick. It's a simple one and it ends before it begins. I think that's the greatest card trick of all time. Here we go. The spectator is asked to select any card that they want. Let's say they happen to pick this one over here. Great selection, sir. The ace of spades. I couldn't have picked a better card if I was tripping balls on comp tricks. But here's the amazing part, sir. You could have picked any card in this regulation deck of playing cards. But before we started, look at these hands. These are the hands of a virgin, the hands of an individual that has never seen a member of the opposite sex. Watch. Before we started, sir, eyes up here. I put a card in my pocket. Wouldn't it be amazing if on that card that's been in my pocket from before we started, had your card on it. Wouldn't that be amazing? I think so. I think that would be an amazing trick because you could have picked any card. You really could have picked any card. I don't even want to touch it with my dirty, disgusting hands. But you could have picked any card whatsoever. So would it be amazing if it had your card written on it? Yes, of course it would. Watch. <laughs> Hey, it's a, it says your card, you stupid, stupid. It was wordplay. It was semantics. That's impossible. I can't get your card literally to end up in my pocket. Stupid. You're stupid. But we could definitely try something. We could actually get uh, your card over here to look like your card over here, believe it or not. And it's just a little bit of a little bit of a move here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it here on camera, but watch, watch this. I'm going to get your card to look like your card. What? See, now it looks exactly like your card. The ace of spades, I mean. But then what's here? Well, that's, that's your card. Yes. <laughs> Got him, boys. You biscuit. You big biscuit, bitch. So that's the trick. Is it not the greatest card trick you've ever seen? It's a trick that ends before it begins, my friends, because you had the card in your pocket the entire time. So it ended before it could begin. That's the greatest card trick in my mind, right? Why bother with all the, the, the hoo-ha and the flourishes and the penis butt and the legs are spread? There's no need for that. Now, what you are going to need for this particular card trick are two cards that are blank. You see, these are blank cards that came with this B-back deck that Penguin Magic graciously sent me. This one says your card and I wrote it like a fifth grader. And this one also says your card and I wrote it like a fifth grader. So I tried my best to make both cards have the same type of writing. Now, I know what you're saying, uh, but Pig Cake, I've never seen a woman before. I don't even know the shape of the outline of the vagina. What am I supposed to do? Well, here's the thing, my friend, you have literally thousands of years of the evolutionary cycle to help you out. So if you feel like it belongs in the hole, well, stick it in there with all the vigor that you've been holding back because you haven't been able to unload that nut. Might I also suggest the Pig Cake Magic Academy where $5 a month gets you two videos every single week going over card and coin stuff and you automatically get two additional tutorials that I don't post anywhere else. So that means you get four videos every single week going over everything, everything you need to know. Over, I believe, a thousand videos and counting. Check it out. It's definitely worth it. You get access to all those videos the moment you sign up. But here's the setup. You take one of your card and you put it on top of the deck. Then you take the other one and you're going to put it inside of your pocket right there. And here's a hot tip, my friends, get a sock and you're going to roll it up just like this. And you're going to take the sock and you're going to put it in your pants like this. So when the ladies look, it's going to look like you have a bigger bulge than you actually do. 
So just a hot tip for you guys that are going out in the summer in the sweatpants and you really want to fool the ladies into thinking that you are a member of uh, the black community. And that's it. That's the setup. All you need is that card on top of the deck and you're ready to go. So now the spectator selects whatever card they want. In this case, let's say they selected the Ace of Spades. And all you're going to do is say, look, you could have picked any card you wanted. Before we started, I put a card in my pocket, sir. You take the card out and you say, would it be amazing if out of all the cards that you could have picked, and here it's very important that you're going to pick up the deck and say, look, out of all the cards you picked, the reason for that is because you're going to prepare for a top change. But that's in a moment. For now, you're going to address the spectator and say, would it be amazing if this card that was in my pocket from before we started had your card on it? Now, of course, as I say your card, I'm going to pick up the Ace of Spades and gesture with it because the implication is that this is what I mean, right? But you're going to get a, you're going to get them. You're going to, you're, you're going to get them. You're going to get them with the uh, good old fashioned semantic ruse that is the your card ploy as you show them the Ace of Spades and say, would it be amazing if it had your card on it? And of course, the implication being that it has your card on it, not literally your card, but your card on it. Now, here's what you're going to do. You're going to take the Ace of Spades, you're going to pick it up or whatever card they picked, and you're going to very slowly use that card to turn over the spectator's card. Let's make sure that everything is in a nice little focus box here. So we're going to turn this card over. We're going to do it a little bit slowly just to make sure that all the attention is on that card here. So you're going to flip it over, and of course, they're going to see that. Now, here you have all the misdirection in the world. You could literally do this like that, or you could do this. It's up to you, but you're gonna do a top change here as the spectator is looking at your card. And you go, see, look, it says your card on it. Now at this point, I'm gonna have technically another your card that I'm just gonna place here as I pick up this your card. So now the assumption, of course, is that this is the Ace of Spades. Really, it's your card. So let me repeat that one more time for those of you guys from the, uh, I don't know, the Eastern portion of Brazil full of flavelas and full of all the people that jack your phone when you take it out of the bus and you try to record what's going on. That's for you guys. So let me repeat this one more time and just to make sure that everyone is uh, clear with these instructions. So you're gonna say, oh look, this card's been in my pocket the entire time. Wouldn't it be amazing if it had your card on it? Would it be amazing? Your card, sir, the one you picked, would it not be amazing? You're going to use this Ace of Spades or whatever card they pick to flip it over. And they're going to go, oh my God, it was a semantic joke. It says your card and he meant your card, but then he meant your card. And that's going to be your misdirection just to do a simple top change. That's it. Whatever top change you like, that's what you're going to do here. And you're going to drop this card as you pick up this card and you go, look, it says your card, your card, sir. Now, of course, as I've done this, I still have my break. So I still have a break underneath this top card, which is now the Ace of Spades. So at some point, when I'm done with this particular joke, I'm going to pick up and say, I know what you meant. You thought I meant your card, like the Ace of Spades. And all I'm doing here is just the double lift. I'm lifting two cards as one. So I'm lifting these two cards as one and saying, you thought I meant your card. <laughs> no, I meant your card. So this is just one display to show just the Ace of Spades. It's optional. If you want, you could just literally miscall it and say, you thought I meant your card like the Ace of Spades. So if you want, you could do that. And you don't have to do this double lift, right? But it's just an option for those of you guys that want it there. But at this point, you go, actually, funny enough, I could make your card look like your card. It's a little bit difficult. Let me see if I could even do it. And all I'm going to do here is just place this card on top of the card that I already have a break on. That's it. And you're going to do whatever color change you want. Any color change would suffice, apart from, uh, I would say, uh, this one. Apart from that one, please don't do that. But the one I did in performance is I just grabbed these two cards as one, and as I let it drop, it just flips once. That's it. So I'm just letting it flip once on top of the deck, and I'm making sure that it lands as squared as possible on top of the deck which is great because I can't do it now <laughs> when I'm showing you what to do, right? <laughs> Let's see if we could get it right. There you go, right? You're doing that. That's all I'm doing. I'm just flipping the card on top of the deck, but it looks like I'm just throwing it on and it changes color here. Now, of course, they're going to be astonished and go, what? Huh? That's crazy. You turn your card into your card. 
And of course, they're going to wonder what happened to this card. And you say, no, don't worry. It's still your card. And you have a nice little way to end the trick. And it's a nice transposition of the trick. And uh, I think it's great. And I think it's simple. And honestly, I think it's probably the greatest card trick of all time. So the clickbait title definitely does, um, does the, the trick justice. Whoa. So that's the trick, my friends. That's all it takes. It's not hard. Magic is not difficult. We try to make it seem like it's a lot more complicated than it actually is so we can impress lay people. Now, what I need from you guys is for you guys to do all the things that people do when it comes to videos, like like it, like share it, like, I don't know, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Why? Because unfortunately, the YouTube gods are holding me down. Look at this. You think that this is being held down by this? No, there's an exterior force, my friends, holding me down, and it's disgusting. So what you could do is you could say, hey, Susan, all right, this guy's definitely worthy of being pushed on your little stupid algorithm. So we got to game it. We got to hack it. We got to trick it. And we got to have enough people to go, hey, this is decent. I'm going to like this video. And we got to trick the algorithm into making it seem like this channel is worthwhile for uh, people to waste their time on. But apart from that, uh, that's the video. That's it. That's literally the whole thing. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys perform it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to uh, chug a, a Coke Zero. A Coke Zero in a moment. That's a mind control potion, I call it, right? Uh, give me a, a vat of boiling mind control potion from the government, right? <laughs> Get some of that woke cola You know what I'm talking about, right? Boom. Drink it. They're removing all the water from impoverished countries. You know, you got India running out of water in certain places and Coke being, you know what? No, we're going to pump this city dry, my friends. You guys aren't getting water, but we're getting water for our needed mind control potion in Coca-Cola. And I'm here willfully drinking it. Why? Because it tastes good. Because it makes little things in my brain go, wow, this is amazing. And it dehydrates me. So when I drink it, I go, wow, I want another one. I want another one. And then I drink another one. And then the cycle repeats itself, my friends. So that's what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? Leave it in the uh, comment section below.